I'm spending the next 50 hours eating only what I can catch. I'm in the thick of it and we've already had an epic day. This one's gonna be a wild one, baby. Woo! Dude, that was insane! Colors of it. First meal since 2 a.m. this morning. Oh, oh. I'm so happy with that. He's an absolutely perfect crab. Oh shit, man. That was not supposed to happen. We got up bright and early this morning to kick this challenge off. The sun's finally rising behind me here. And we're on our way to catch some live bait to hopefully hook up a mahi, maybe a Spanish, something like that. The challenge has well and truly begun. There's a bit of swelling wind today, but I'm gonna try and pick up some bait on this little jig line. Let's see how we go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's not what we're after. <laughs> this could be bait here. Hey! Yes. yes. <laughs> We're chasing yakas or slimy mackerel. Two target species of bait out here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's something bigger. That's what we're chasing. Look at that. Perfect size slimy for the mahi. Look at that guy. Oh, I can't even. Oh. Finally found him. All right, here's the bait we've gathered. There's a few in there. So we're gonna head out to the mahi spot now. So I'm gonna get a livey out and see if the mahi are hanging around this boy up here. Oh yeah, they're right in. in. What are we doing? All right, let him take it. Let him take it, man. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Yes! yes. <laughs> Where are we? Come on, buddy. Hey! hey. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh. 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 Alright, coming in now. Yep. Oh my oh, god. Way. Let's just crank it. Oh, <laughs> what happened, mate? <laughs> <laughs> my God! It's insane. Just everything went wrong. What? Oh, it's snap. That's that. Well, we got him. Yeah. Her. Yeah, a nice cow. Wow. Well, All right. Everything just went wrong. But we got a fish in the boat, which means we're eating today. That was Good mental. Job. And we oh, saved God. the net. But look at that. Just broke. It snapped off. Look at the colours on it. It's that sun hitting it. Yeah, you go. Looks incredible hair. Hey? Oh, but that's it. Beautiful mahi mahi or dolphin fish. Love chasing them and they're very sustainable to fish. That was mental. It's been too long. <laughs> All right, we got a, a fish in the esky, so that's good news for me. Chris is uh, going to get a rod in, so hopefully he can get a feed as well. But I'm, I'm pretty well sorted for today at least. I think that one's big, Chris. Oh, I think that one's dude. big. Dude, dude, that was insane. That yeah, that's a good fish. I see it. That's a really good fish. That was lightning quick. I think he took it a lot. You see him here? Oh my god. I think he's a pretty solid fish. How the hell are we gonna get this guy in the boat? I think he's going. Slightly better mahi in the bag. It just absolutely just took off with the line. The bulls have a big rounded head, and the um the cows are more curved, and so this one's kind of in between. It might be a juvenile bull. Not quite sure. The colours of it are insane. You get these guys straight on ice for the best quality eating, so we'll get it back in there. Awesome. Nice one. Good job. 
Here's the catches from today. Chris was super kind and let me take both of them because he's got a bunch of fish at home. So we've kept both of them. I'm gonna eat this one with a little bit of sashimi now. We'll save this one for the rest of the uh, days of this challenge. We'll get the filleting and um, get these guys sorted. Hey Vixie, you ready? It's gonna be your first mahi mahi. Oh, beautiful. There we go. That's gonna be our sashimi, look at that. Look at that beautiful fillet right there. And because this is the thinnest, crappiest bit, I'm gonna use that for the sashimi, which we're gonna devour right now. We need longer angled pieces like that. That's what we're going for, thin but kind of like long. <laughs> Can you believe that right there? It's the first meal since 2 a.m. this morning. Totally worth it. Mm. Now stick around guys, because I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna do with those frames a little bit later this afternoon. Mm. This looks awesome for crabs. Oh boy. We're just sneaking into the mangroves here. Gonna set some pots with that dolphin fish bait. This is the brand new tinny guys. I was supposed to be keeping it a surprise for a later video, but I'm too excited. We just got the little eight horsepower Yamaha rock up. And this is just a little crappy tinny I bought off uh, Marketplace. Dirt cheap, but it gets the job done. White belly seagull. This place is awesome. I've pre-baited these, so they're all ready to go. Just pop these bad boys up. Drop them along here. Righto, that's pot one. Guys, make sure when you set your pots that at low tide, they're completely, mostly submerged. Things like eagles um, and other creatures on the dead low will actually come into your pots to try and get your bait and can get caught in there. And then obviously when the tide comes up, they drown. So it's important to note that. <laughs> How's the Tokyo drift on him? That was unbelievably close. Alright, another pot going in here. Yeah. Two more pots. I hope I can find all these pots when I come back tomorrow. Beauty. This spot looks mental. I'm gonna put a pot right here. Lucky last pot. We got the dolly head in this one. Put it straight out in the middle of this creek. Oh. All right, fourth and final pot set. Probably best to let those soak for full 24 hours. We got enough feed of mahi to get us through tonight and tomorrow. And then hopefully we can finish off this challenge with an epic mud crab haul. So don't go anywhere, because we gotta find out if these pots have some big mud crabs in them. It's been raining all morning, so we've just had a break in the weather. Sun's peeking through. And I've just jumped on the bike and brought the smoker out here to have a cook up. We've got the mahi fillets sitting right here. As you can see, it's starting to smoke, so we'll put the lid on that. For now, I just got a snack on this mahi and, um, and pray there's something in the pots. I don't see any more flame, so we can only hope that this is cooked because I'm absolutely starving. That's cooked, baby. Wanna try a bit? Good eh? Smoked mahi. Pretty bloody good. Mmm. <laughs> We are literally racing the storm right now for the fourth and final part. Come on. Come on. No! I thought we might have a miracle and have a big buck in here to cook up tonight, but four small males. We're gonna get this back in. That was our chance. And we're gonna get the hell out of here. Well. 
Oh shit, man. Oh, that was not supposed to happen. Oh, please still work. Jeez. I'm sorry, Yamaha. I'm so sorry. The Yami held up all right. We just hit the mud. All right. We're back out. That storm kept me away from checking all the pots last night. That was pretty hectic. Unfortunately, the first pot's been snipped. Someone has cut our line. They cut in here so it goes loose and the crabs can walk out. So I think there's a bit of mud crab rivalry around here, but just keep that in mind, guys, when you set your pots. There are crappy people out and about, so put them as far remote as possible for your best chance of crabs. I'll have to zip tie that up another day, but we have three more pots to check. So I've got Liana with me. We're gonna charge up, collect the rest of the pots, and fingers crossed my luck will change and there'll be a nice muddy to cook up. All righty, pot number two is coming in. Looks like nothing. Looks like a crab. Oh, that's, that could be size. Oh crap, bring them in. We got a muddy. And it's a male. It's a male? Yeah, it's a male. <laughs> oh, we got him. Legal size muddy in the tinny. First tinny fish. So hard too, he's full of meat. It's a nice rusty buck. Super nice brown colors. I'm so happy with that, he's an absolutely Perfect crab. I haven't been able to get one of these guys for the last couple videos. They've been tough. So getting out in the tinny to this spot totally paid off. And I reckon the storm and the rain just brought the crabs in. So we still have another, what, two pots to check. So we might have more than this guy, but I think we'll take him. He's perfect size, nice and hard. So he'll be full of meat. We'll get him in the esky. Yes. Thank you, buddy. Third pot, we just landed on top of it. Oh, so we got one, two, three, four little males by the looks of it. It's your lucky day, little guys. Let's see if we got a big muddy in this one. Oh, it's heavy. Holy crap. It's really heavy. Oh, I see a little crab there. Oh, it's got a lot of mud in it, that's why. Nah, it's stacked with little crabs. There's like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah. Six little, mostly the male. That's great to see, so. Oh, sorry guys. We'll let them out. Four pots collected. We got one beautiful male mud crab. Gonna untie this, we're gonna cruise home. It's pretty windy today, but we'll cook this guy in the fire, stick around. We're gonna have a taste test of this big crab and um, we'll see you in the kitchen, eh? We've put this guy to sleep. He's about to go on the fire. Thanks for your food, buddy. <laughs> oh, look at him changing color. Yeah. All right, I've had him sitting in an ice slurry. He's nice and cool. Ready to go. Oh, how convenient, Vixie. This has got to be your first mud crab. There we go. Beautiful meat. First crab of the season. What do you reckon, Vixie? You like it? That's a good crab. Thank you guys so much for watching. You. <laughs>